making pasta substituted with zucchini is becoming a bit of a fad. It's been around for a few years. If you haven't tried it, I urge you to. Even if you've got family members who are reluctant to go grain free, this is a simple way to substitute some vegetables for a wheat based product. Now spiralizers, there's so many on the market. This just happens to be the one that I've bought. It's called a gamoose. So there's a couple of different attachments to it to make ribbons, but I'm going to use this one which has shredding teeth in it. So all I need to do is find a little piece that's kind of the same length. Actually, this would be a better way to measure. Cut that off. And this is how I'm going to make my pasta. Now, if there's a favorite pasta sauce that you like, even if it's cooked, this would be a great idea to just keep your sauce and change the pasta for this. It looks like pasta. It's curly, but it's a vegetable. Some people cook it, but why? Go raw. The more you eat food in its natural state, the better it is because you've preserved the enzyme activity and enzymes are proteins which help us digest our food. All right, so there's some going there. I'm gonna to top this with a simple pesto sauce. I'm gonna use some of what I've previously made and mix it with some avocado to make it so deliciously creamy. This is the only thing, it takes a little bit of a while to undo, but this is a great way to get children involved in the kitchen. I get my son to do this and he kind of likes it. It's just a way that he can be involved. You've got a meat eater in the house. The single most important thing I think that you could do to change your health, apart from eating raw, is to minimize or cut back on wheat products. And there's such a thing as an unhealthy vegetarian or an unhealthy vegan. Think about it, if they're eating donuts. If they're eating donuts, they're not going to have good health. So it's pretty simple, and what I like about this spiralizer is that it's compact. I've got so many kitchen gadgets at home that this one just fits in the drawer. All right, let's just leave that aside for the moment. If you wanted to soften it, you could sprinkle, actually I might even do that, you could sprinkle a little bit of oil on top and leave that with some salt, and it's like marinating it. So it's going to become a little bit more tender, a bit more al dente. For now, I'm going to blend some of this pesto with an avocado. Now the way that I've been taught to take the seed out is to go like this, but someone told me something new and that was to poke a knife through here and see if the seed pops out that way. I've never done this before, so no, it's not really working. Maybe it was a fork. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> Let's just do it this way. Wow, that one didn't want to give up his uh, home. <laughs> So apparently you can soak an avocado and it will sprout and then you can grow a tree from it. I love all this. We've grown celery stalks from getting the base of the celery and sprouting it on the bench. In fact, any kind of sprout is really easy to make. There's no point buying them at the shop and they have a limited shelf life. When you put them in a jar, keep them in the sunlight and keep them moist and washed and then you've got sprouts. That might be another tutorial. Let's blend this up. Avocado doesn't have a strong flavor, but it does lend a nice creamy texture. really great you're gonna like that so I'm very lucky today I've had lots of um, taste testers 
that have been giving me their nods and their moans and groans of approval. I don't recommend that you wipe your fingers on the blade, but if you do it, be careful. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on my pasta. This is like a single serve. Mix it through. Now I've served this before um, with smoked salmon. So I often get asked, well, what if no one in my family wants to eat as I eat? They don't believe my principles. That's fine. The best way is to lead by example. You don't need to make separate meals. You could make this up for yourself and then maybe get some smoked salmon um, flakes and put chunks of that on top. And that way you can appeal to the, I guess, the people in your house that have different nutritional requirements to you. All right, so that's it. So I'm gonna put that in a bowl. I've ended up putting about one and a half zucchinis in there. I'm gonna plate that up now. This is a pretty generous portion, but when you're only eating vegetables, eat more. So a common mistake people make when they first come to this way of eating is they don't eat enough and they feel hungry. It's actually pretty low in calories. So just put more in your bowl, eat till you're satisfied. I'm going to top this with some beautiful vine ripened tomatoes. Squishy. And put some in underneath. Okay, the finishing touch, two things actually. A little sprinkling of pine nuts. I just love their nutty, creamy flavor. You could toast them if you like. And then finally, my version of vegan Parmesan cheese. It's a cute little hack. Just grate with a microplane, a little macadamia nut on top. We eat with our eyes, so if you recreate these comfort foods to look as authentic as possible, it helps contribute to that feeling of satisfaction. Get a little bit of height. Learned that from Jamie Oliver. Get the height. Delicious.